Good tippers deserve this. I'm Brian with Bulldog Delivers. Let's hit it. I had a couple of great ones this past weekend. So I had one customer tipping nearly 50 bucks, and I'm she's communicative throughout the shop, which was great because a lot of things were out of stock, worked on the replacements. I was getting there, and she says, oh, by the way, if I'm not at the house yet when you deliver, just leave everything on the step. So I'm like, hmm, okay. And it's Saturday afternoon. A lot of people still pouring into town. And uh, so I get to the house. There's a car in the driveway. I'm like, okay, maybe somebody is here. So the instructions were to leave on the porch. Okay, we'll do. So I left everything on the porch, took my pictures, sent the message, and then ring the doorbell, knock, and go to leave. So I go to sit in my car. Now, again, because I work with two phones, right? One is for the food delivery apps, and the other one is what I use to, to, to monitor Instacart. And so I'm setting that all up in my car, getting it all set up so when I just start driving, I'm not having to fiddle with anything, right? And uh, I get a knock on the window. Turn around. There's a lady standing there. Oh, hello. Open the door. And she has very poor English and, you know, just wanted to make sure that, you know, that was my stuff there that I left. So we started talking. I shut the car off. I started talking with her. And, you know, my Spanish, you know, me Espanol no bueno. And her English was no good either. So anyway, we, we started laughing about that. And we're using our phones to, you know, translate. And then finally, she, she's the cleaning lady. I figured it out. She was the cleaning lady and she had a logo on her shirt. She calls her boss. The boss could speak English. And I said to her, I said, hey, I'm here. I'm actually delivering for the, the customer that's going to be renting this house this week. And uh, I was told to leave it on the porch, but she's here. And I got a lot of cold stuff here. And it's you know, 90 degrees and humid here in Florida, right? So uh, I said, is it possible that I can bring the stuff inside and put the cold stuff in the fridge? And the lady says, yeah, sure. That's, that's not a problem. Go right on ahead. I said, thank you very much. That makes me feel a lot better about leaving the cold stuff because I don't know when the 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 uh, customer will be in town as they could even be a couple hours out for all I know. And that stuff would be no good. And so they were, she was like, yeah, sure. Go ahead. So I did. And you know, put everything away. Yeah. Good tipping customers deserve this kind of service. They really do. So I did that. Now, unfortunately I had already marked the order as delivered. So I couldn't explain to the customer what I was doing. And you know, it's just unfortunate about Instacart that once you mark the orders delivered, all form of communication ends with that customer. And that's unfortunate. That's why I do like Shipped and Grubhub and, and those because you can still text with each other for a little bit after you order. In some cases, up to an hour after you order. At least that's how I can do it with Shipped. So have you ever run into this before, either as an Instacart shopper or a Shipped shopper? I'd like to see your comments down below. Please like this video and subscribe. I'm Brian with Bulldog Delivers. Until next time, go get them.